Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. A recent research result of Harbin Institute of Technology, HIT, is closely related to people's future life and may even affect high-tech products such as mobile phones and computers. This achievement is the successful development of a 13.5 nanometers extreme ultraviolet light source, which is a major breakthrough in EUV lithography technology. What is an EUV lithography machine? It is a super precision tool in semiconductor manufacturing used to carve complex circuit patterns on small chips. The chips in the mobile phones and computers people use now are all produced by this technology. EUV means extreme ultraviolet light. The wavelength of this light is very short, only about 13.5 nanometers, which is much shorter than the light people usually see. Why use such a short light? Because the circuits on the chip are getting smaller and smaller, if you want to carve precise patterns in these tiny spaces, you have to use light with a shorter wavelength. It's like painting. If you want to draw finer lines, you have to use a thinner pen. Why is the 13.5 nanometers extreme ultraviolet light source so important? In the past, the technology of this extreme ultraviolet light source has been monopolized by some large foreign companies. If China wants to produce high-end chips, it has to rely on their technology. This is like people cooking. If salt is controlled by others, then cooking will cost a lot of time and money. But now, Harbin Institute of Technology has successfully developed a 13.5 nanometers extreme ultraviolet light source, which means that China has its own technology in this field and is no longer restricted by others. This is like people have learned to grow their own salt which will make cooking much more convenient and cost-effective in the future. Where does the extreme ultraviolet light source come from? You may be curious about how such a short light is produced. This is actually a very complicated process. Simply put, it is to use a special laser to irradiate some heavy metal droplets, such as tin droplets. These droplets will become something called plasma under the irradiation of the laser, and then the plasma will emit extreme ultraviolet light. This process is like people lighting fireworks with matches. Matches are lasers, fireworks are plasma, and the light emitted by fireworks is the extreme ultraviolet light that people want. Of course, the actual situation is much more complicated than this, and various conditions need to be precisely controlled to obtain stable, high-quality extreme ultraviolet light. How difficult is the breakthrough of Harbin Institute of Technology? You may think, isn't it just a light, is it that difficult? Alas, you are wrong. Developing a 13.5 nanometers extreme ultraviolet light source is a super difficult technical challenge. First of all, the wavelength of this light is very short and can be easily absorbed by various things, such as air. Therefore, the entire process of generating and transmitting light must be carried out in a vacuum environment, just like people put food in a vacuum bag to keep it fresh. Secondly, to produce stable, high-quality extreme ultraviolet light, it is necessary to control the power of the laser, the size and shape of the droplets, the accuracy of the optical system, etc. very precisely. This is like people making cakes. The proportion of various ingredients, the baking temperature and time must be just right to make a delicious cake. The research team of Harbin Institute of Technology finally overcame these technical difficulties after many years of hard work. They are like a group of careful chefs, constantly adjusting the recipe and the heat, and finally made their own extreme ultraviolet cake. What are the benefits of this achievement for people? You may ask, what are the benefits of this achievement for people? In fact, there are many benefits. First of all, China has its own extreme ultraviolet light source technology, which can produce more advanced chips. This is just like people have their own senior chefs, and they can make more delicious dishes. In the future, the performance of mobile phones and computers used by people may be better, 
the speed may be faster, and the price may be cheaper. Secondly, this technology can also drive the development of other related industries. For example, the production of extreme ultraviolet light sources requires a lot of high-tech materials and equipment, which will promote the development of these industries. This is just like people need pots and pans to cook, and the manufacturers of these kitchen utensils will also benefit. For example, extreme ultraviolet lithography technology can also be used to manufacture other high-tech products, such as flat panel displays, optical fiber communication devices, etc. This is just like people learn to make cakes, and can also learn to make biscuits, bread and other snacks. What other progress has China made in the field of semiconductors? In fact, in addition to Harbin Institute of Technology's breakthrough in extreme ultraviolet light source technology, China has made many other progress in the field of semiconductors. For example, Huazheng University of Science and Technology cooperated with a domestic enterprise and successfully developed photoresist production technology. Photoresist is a key material in the photolithography process, just like the pigments people use for painting. In the past, this technology was also monopolized by foreign countries, but now China has its own technology. In addition, China is also constantly trying to catch up in some advanced chip manufacturing technologies. Although there is still a certain gap with the international advanced level, just like people running a marathon, as long as they keep running hard, they will reach the finish line one day. Although Harbin Institute of Technology has made a major breakthrough in extreme ultraviolet light source technology, this technology is only initially ready for industrialization, and there's still a long way to go before the mass production of domestic EUV lithography machines can be achieved. It's like people have learned how to make a new dish, but if they want to make this dish a signature dish in a restaurant, they have to practice and improve it continuously. However, with this good start, China has the confidence and ability to continue to make more progress in this field. Just like people have learned to cook, they can keep trying new recipes and make more delicious dishes. In the future, China is expected to achieve independent research and development and production in this field and completely get rid of its dependence on foreign technology. It's like people have their own kitchen and chef and can make their favorite meals anytime and anywhere. Moreover, with the continuous advancement of technology and the expansion of its application scope, extreme ultraviolet lithography technology may bring more unexpected surprises to people's lives. China has made another important breakthrough in the field of semiconductors. This breakthrough may make the high-tech products, such as mobile phones and computers that people use in the future better and cheaper. Of course, the development of science and technology is not achieved overnight, and it requires people to work hard and innovate continuously. Just like people cooking, only by constantly trying new ingredients and methods can more delicious dishes be made. Therefore, scientific and technological personnel are like chefs in the kitchen. Although they may work silently at ordinary times, it is their hard work that makes our lives better. I hope that China can make more breakthroughs and progress in the field of semiconductors in the future. Let people's lives be more exciting because of technology.